Thank you very much. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to share with you just a few of the experiences I've had career-wise on behalf of studying bats. As you're about to learn, bats are just full of wonderful surprises and opportunities. I can't imagine a group that's more understudied and overpowered when it comes to interesting things yet to be discovered. Their world is just full of surprises from the brilliant yellow-winged bats of equatorial Africa to the painted bats of Southeast Asia, the snow white ghost bats of Latin America. And right here in Texas, we have the king of them all when it comes to spectacular, the spotted bat. <clears throat> Contrary to what you've mostly heard about bats in recent times, you find that they actually have probably the world's finest track record when it comes to living safely with people. They contribute billions of dollars annually to human economies. They support whole ecosystem, the health of whole ecosystems that, upon which we ourselves depend. And they actually safeguard our health by reducing our dependence on chemical pesticides. <clears throat> Now, before we get too far carried into just bats, let's look at my very simple, almost laughably simple recipe for success. And yet, it's amazing how few people ever pay any real attention to it, even though it's powerful and simple. First of all, follow your passion. <clears throat> do something, choose something that you'd love to do on your next vacation if somebody would just let you do it. Don't go where someone says, okay, you need to do this because this is where the employment's going to be and this is where the best pay is going to be. Pay and employment aren't the two top priorities. First of all, let me point out that employment opportunities are about as stable as the Saharan Desert. They move all the time. I remember when I was in school, Sputnik went up and everybody was going to be a space, science, a, a space engineer. A few years later, there's a glut on the market in space engineers. There's no forecasting exactly what's going to be the next great need in science. So you might as well pick something that you know you're going to be interested in even if things change. <clears throat> Conduct research that helps people. <clears throat> I cannot imagine in the world we live in today under today's circumstances continuing to do totally esoteric basic research that has no applied value in solving human problems. I honestly believe that that's one of the reasons why scientists today are complaining so much about trouble getting funding. Too many have lived too long in ivory towers thinking they could do almost anything esoteric regardless of whether it had any applicability to solving real challenges or not. And next, do good science. Some of the poorest science I've ever seen has been coming out in recent time. Just a few weeks ago, Science published a paper based on a sample of one, a questionable partial fragment of RNA, one sample, and making a big deal out of it. Now they may have found the source of Ebola. Uh, that's not what you call good science. We as scientists want to test, not prove, hypotheses. And more important than all the rest, learn to be a good entertainer. <clears throat> you know, so many times young people think that they need to learn all the jargon of their field so that they can impress everybody with how much they know. I'm impressed when I hear somebody make a presentation without using any jargon, because that proves that you know your field and how to communicate it, and you'll probably be successful. <clears throat> Who are the most job secure, best paid people professionally in the world? Uh, entertainers. <clears throat> Nobody, nobody's getting paid better than entertainers. And yet we have the front row seat to be the world's finest, best prepared entertainers. As scientists, we're giving the latest expensive gadgetry to play with. We get out on the front lines of nature. 
Nothing is more interesting to people initially in life than the natural world around them. There are all kinds of opportunities to make discoveries in nature that can be incredibly entertaining, but far too many scientists communicate only to their colleagues. They never pick up on the importance of communicating to the public at large. And we can be incredibly entertained. If you learn to entertain on top of these other things, you'll be successful, I virtually guarantee it. <laughs>